Hey family, this is Mary Beth. So first of all, I want to say hi to all my new subscribers. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Uh, just to let you know, I will not be monetizing this channel. I do not do this for money. I do this for the Lord and that's it. I just follow his instructions. That being said, I wanted to let y'all know that. But and I do want to appreciate I do appreciate I don't know if um, this person that saw the um, short that I did thanking her but I was actually donated a little bit of money one day and I appreciate that so much I did put it back in the ministry for y'all that do not know I have a ministry where I work with the homeless and I've been making toys and for the little kids and by crocheting them and then I make other things for the the adults and uh, special journals for the single moms and for the moms that just need a little something uh, that's not what I'm bragging I'm not bragging about it I'm just letting y'all know that's what I do my ministry is not just um, doing YouTube videos I just didn't want anybody to think that that's all I did because I don't um, but I wanted, I'm coming on here because I wanted to tell y'all about an update. I had said a prayer request for a couple of weeks ago on a situation uh, with our, with my family. We have a school bus and for y'all that have been following me for a while, y'all know that we've been, we got a bus and we're making it into our home because we've been homeless for, well, three years now. And uh, the city had come, codes people came, and they were wanting to ticket us and tow the truck, tow the bus away. And we couldn't have that happen. We need the bus. It's going to be our home. I'm going to use it for the mission field. That's, you know, it's, there's valid reasons why we need this bus. I told y'all that I was putting all my faith, you know, in God, and I knew he would handle it. So I just wanted y'all to pray about it. And I wanted to let y'all know God has handled it. He has saved our bus. And I knew he would because he got that bus or, you know, to us. Because of him, we were able to get that bus. So I knew he was going to save that bus. I had no doubt in my mind that that's what was going to happen. Was it frustrating? Yes. Was I... Did my human side take over a couple of times? Yeah. It really did. I'm not going to lie. It really was very um, stressful and um, having to, I got a bug on my glasses. Um, I really had to cling to God. I, I really had to cling to Him. And uh, that's all I could do. I really really put my full trust in him and he has saved our bus and we've talked to the city and they're going to work with us on this whole situation as well so God is good and I just wanted to tell everybody thank you for all the prayers that you have said thank you for um for supporting me on my channel and everything that's been going on with the bus I love you guys I wanted to tell y'all about something else that happened. It's rather cool. I had a vision, and it was actually on Mother's Day. I was listening to Chris Eastup. And um, so if you haven't you know, checked out his channel, um, it's Global, Global. He just changed the name. And it's just, I'm sorry, Chris. It's been a, <laughs> been a long day. Um, cause I had to deal with this city today. Um, but anyways, look up Chrissy step and you'll be able to find it global something watchers. I, I can't remember the, the middle name. Sorry, you guys. I really am. I'm botching that up in a major way. Not meaning to really, I'm not. So please forgive me. I'm so sorry. Um, but anyways, while I was watching his video, he got to this one point of the video where he was talking about when we can when we come back, um, with Jesus at Armageddon. And he talked about the fact that we would be on horses. Well, 
quite a while ago, I said a prayer and it was asking for a Clodsdale horse in heaven. Now for anybody that knows me, I have never ever been on a horse ever my entire life. The only time I've ever been able to be near a Clydesdale horse was at Bush Gardens in Williamsburg, Colonial Williamsburg, here in Virginia. That's where Anheuser Busch is, is at. I'm not going to talk about that company. <laughs> There's enough going on with that. But they have beautiful Clydesdale horses. And the only time I ever got to see it was when, on very few occasions, we would go to Bush Gardens. And I mean very, very few occasions. Because we were poor, we didn't have much money. So I've been poor all my entire life. But when I had this vision, oh my goodness, it was just, it was Oh, it was amazing. It's just wonderful. Um, I had to rewatch the video uh, just so I could know what all was being said. Because I literally, when I had it, I just completely blacked out. And all I could see was what I was seeing. And um, it was a beautiful sunny day. I can tell you it's a beautiful sunny day. And my hair was long. And I was young and I was skinny. I was in heaven is where I was at. I was so beautiful, so beautiful. I had never seen myself so beautiful ever like this. And it's because I was healthy and I was just, it, I was just blown away at how good I looked. Younger, not my age now. And I had my hands up in the sky. My hair was flying back. I was wearing this real flowy white white gown and my hands are up in the sky and I was wearing I was riding a Clydesdale horse bareback now note again I have never ridden a horse in my entire life so to my brothers and sisters who know how to ride a horse when we get in heaven can y'all please teach me because I need help on that. I'll teach you how to crochet or something, artwork. Please teach me how to write a word. But it was just such a beautiful gift on Mother's Day. And I guess what I'm trying to tell you guys is God is so good and He's there. On Mother's Day, I really needed that pick me up because things are not right between me and my daughter and haven't been for some time now. And um, I didn't know if I was even going to get a phone call from her. But I did get a phone call from her. So I'm very grateful for that. And I thank God for that phone call. Because that was all God. And I was able to talk to her for a few minutes. But God answered my prayer. And I really feel that when he showed me that vision of me riding on that Clydesdale horse. It was saying, hey, you know, you got this. Just hang on a little longer. You're almost there to ride on that Clydesdale horse. For me, it was God giving me encouragement. And right now, there is so much strife in this world. So much stuff going on. So much hatred. So much war and famine and everything. Everything. Every sign that God said would happen, would happen. It even says in the, in the Bible that neighbors will turn against neighbors. And that's what's going on with the situation with my bus. It was a neighbor turning against a neighbor. That hadn't done anything wrong. But like I said, God took care of it. God is in our lives. He's everywhere. All you got to do is just look for him. Jesus loves you so much. He loves all of us. He just wants his children to love him back. Like any parent would. If you're a parent and you have a child 
and you love that child, you love that child unconditionally, and you just want that love in return. You want your child to be happy, you want your child to be independent, but you want everything for that child. You don't want anything bad to happen to that child. Jesus is the same way. He doesn't want anything to happen to any of us. He loves us. He gives us free will though, and it makes it a choice on whether we accept him into our hearts or not. God is an amazing God. He can make the impossible possible. And when you put your full trust in him and you love him and you just want to be nothing but with him, he will take care of you. He takes care of everybody. Whether you recognize it or not, he takes care of everybody. Jesus loves his children. And that's the very first thing that I ever learned. So you guys, please, if you haven't asked Jesus into your heart, please do. It is so, so worth it. He takes care of you. He does everything for you. And he is the, always there. He's never away from you. He's your best friend. He's your father. You can talk to him at any time. And it doesn't take much to trust him either. And to have faith in him. It only takes a mustard seed amount and that is it. Please, you guys, Jesus is literally about to take his bride, which is the Christians, off of this earth, and we're about to be raptured out. And when we get raptured out, it is really going to literally be all hell on this earth. I would not wish my worst enemy on this earth. There's going to be so much death and destruction. You don't want to be here. Please, trust him. Love him. Build a relationship with him. He will, he will tell you. If you ask him, am, am I coming right now? Are you coming soon? He will tell you. You just got to ask him. Get into the Bible. Start reading it. The Bible is not a bad book. The Bible is a wonderful book. I used to not think that way. I was raised in church. I backslid really bad. Got into the cult. But God didn't give up on me. And he doesn't give up on anybody. We're humans. Humans give up on people. But God doesn't. So please, ask him to forgive you of your sins. He died on the cross so he could forgive you of all your sins, past, present, and future. It doesn't take much. Tell him that you love him. Ask him to be in your heart. Acknowledge the fact that he died on that cross for your sins and arose again three days later. Mean it. Don't just do it because you want to get off this earth. Truly mean it. Truly ask him in your heart. Let him change you. Because you'll change for the better, I promise you. Yeah, people will look at you like you're a little crazy at first and they won't understand. But then the ones that don't need to be in your life... All you can do is just love them and pray for them. Since I, re since I rededicated my life to the Lord, I don't have many friends. I don't have many friends at all. 
but I got family and I got new brothers and sisters that I'm meeting and learning and, and look forward to seeing very soon. Cause if you're, cause rock, cause Jesus really is, I mean, he is really, really about to come. So please think about what I'm saying. Develop a relationship with him. I promise you will not be disappointed. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.